Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 16 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And what I'm gonna be going over today is the options that you can apply to strokes. Now in episode number 11, I gave you a little bit of a taste of, of, uh, of what strokes are all about um, because I went over the fill and stroke area. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna be basically going over the you know like i said the stroke options on very uh, simple things and that you can apply them to more complex things like logo designs or you know any type of print layout that you're doing so what i first want to do is i want to scroll up here okay to a very simple example that i'm going to be working with and if you do not have the stroke options all right what you want to do is you want to come to window and stroke okay or if it's, it's over here already you're just gonna pull it up right here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out a little bit and here's a little like little tidbit you, you see this little thing right here this is a drop down and it says show more options all right or show options you know every tab over here has you know that option or if you click that they'll give you you know some other things on there that you know might give you uh, you know different options so anyway on the stroke right here the word stroke okay if we click it you're gonna see there's a fill of black and there is no stroke on it so we're gonna add a white stroke on here and I am going to zoom in all right so so we can see what's going on now in our stroke options let's start at the very top the weight okay the weight is right here very simply it's a stroke now obviously we're gonna change some settings on it but what a normal stroke has always done is it actually eats away at the word so you know you got your word here look how thick all the letters are and then you start to see the letter actually thinning out the black and the stroke basically takes it over eventually okay so we're gonna go back we'll go back to like say one literally and right here we have different end cap so again we're gonna do this and we're gonna do the cap if we roll over it's cool because it tells you what it is we're gonna either round cap it at the end or we're gonna project and cap now that really has to do with if you are you're not gonna see a difference on this but you're gonna obviously uh, see a difference if uh, if you make a line segment right here and then you're gonna see that that's where it really changes like so uh, but obviously on the word stroke you're not seeing any change on there so we're going to stick it, keep it right here. The corner is where you're definitely going to see a, a change. You're going to want to come into here and let's try round join. So you're going to see everything gets nice and rounded uh, or you're going to see the bevel join. All right. That's another way of, of, uh, of working with it. Okay. So we're going to come back to the corner for a second and I want to see something real quick. All right. It's not doing it. All right. Sometimes what happens is you get these little like spikes that hang out especially if you're designing a logo so you like you'll have these spikes right and they literally look like this all right have you ever seen these on a stroke they just kind of stick out in certain spots certain areas all right that is because of the the miter limit right here which you'd have to lower and you can tell you see as i lower from 10 the act the k the middle of the k opens up Let's see if anything help else happens all right the middle the r opens up too so that's just something you obviously want to mess around with. Um, we're going to click on this word again. Now, this is the best part of, of the newer versions of Adobe because the older versions did not have the align strokes. I forget when they started, maybe in like CS5. But anyway, the fact that this is actual text right now, okay, we're going to have to outline it to be able to use this align stroke option. So we're going to come into type create outlines or shift command O or shift control O. And just like I showed you in the creating outlines video, a couple of videos back. And now we again have this word stroke. It's still got the white on the outside. You can see, all right, so if I take it off, it's back on. All right, we're gonna lower this a little bit, but we're now able to align the stroke. So you're gonna see align stroke to center a line stroke to inside so it eats away at the word even more or align it to the outside all right so aligning it to the outside will allow you if i turn it off 
it doesn't cut any of that word out okay so what's cool about it is the thicker you make it you know it starts to get fun like this you know like you've seen in many many you know like uh like sports teams logos and, and stuff like that so again we're going to click on here and right now we're going to come back to here and we're just going to make this very uh very subtle because we uh, don't want to go crazy with it. Now, what we can also do is we can come into here and do a dashed line. And you'd want to play around with these because, you know, you can do a dash in a specific amount of space for a gap, then a da same thing over and over. Uh, but right now, like say we bring this down to two, uh, as opposed to 12 points, the dashes, you're going to see, you know, how cool that is. All right, so now we got some other options with arrowheads and stuff. So what I want to show you is if you take the pen tool, and you draw some kind of a you know crazy path, right? And we're going to hit escape to end that path. We're now going to come into these arrowheads and you're going to do the one in the beginning and the one at the end, all right? And obviously it's kind of weird. I have this fill in here, so let's take that out. Let's turn it to none. And this is just something where you can, you know, mess around. And just don't don't get this confused with brushes, which I'll talk about later on, because you cannot now that you have this, you know, you have to do this all over. You have to draw it, then put the arrowhead on it. Uh, same thing with the uh, pencil tool. All right. So let me get rid of this stuff so I can uh, focus on the rest of this. So there's some other options in here. You just play around with them, um, you know, see what you pretty much come up with. So the last thing I want to show you is uh, or I want to talk about is the fact that um, we could put gradients on a stroke so let's find like a cool gradient and put it on that stroke all right so i gotta recreate outlines on that excuse me and we'll throw a gradient in there right and i'll take off the dashed line and i'll make this a little bit larger all right so the gradients are pretty cool uh again we can line them wherever we would like them to be and we can go from a radial to a linear gradient and I don't think, no, we can't, I'll talk about this later in the gradients, but we can't mess around with the, the levels in here. You have to mess around with the angle in here to change it around on the, uh, on the strokes. But, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty cool thing too. Again, say, you know, uh, let's say we want to round the corners or we want to do the bevel and make this a little bit larger. I mean, that's pretty cool right there. So there's so many things to do in uh, in Illustrator, and you're never going to stop, you know, uh, discovering things. So that's it on strokes. Pretty basic stuff here. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the series so far. And definitely click the subscribe button on the screen to make sure that you do not miss any of the new videos that come out in this series. And that's it, everybody. My name is Steve Looney, and I am from GraphicDesignerTips.com. I will see you for the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.